Thomas the tank engine wouldn't stop being a nuisance. Night after night he kept the other engines awake. I'm tired of pushing coaches. I want to see the world. The other engines didn't take much notice, for Thomas was a little engine with a long tongue. But one night, Edward came to the shed. He was a kind little engine and felt sorry for Thomas. I've got some trucks to take home tomorrow. If you take them instead of me, I'll push coaches in the yard. Thank you, said Thomas. That will be nice. Next morning, Edward and Thomas asked their drivers, and when they said yes, Thomas ran off happily to find trucks. Now, trucks are silly and noisy. They talk a lot and don't attend to what they are doing. And I'm sorry to say they play tricks on an engine who is not used to them. Edward knew all about trucks. He warned Thomas to be careful, but Thomas was too excited to listen. The shunter fastened the coupling, and when the signal dropped, Thomas was ready. The guard blew his whistle. Peep, peep, answered Thomas, and started off. But the trucks weren't ready. Oh, 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 they screamed, wait, Thomas, wait. But Thomas wouldn't wait. Come on, come on, he puffed. All right, all right, don't fuss, all right, don't fuss, grumbled the trucks. to put on the brakes. We're stopping, we're stopping, called Thomas. No, 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 answered the trucks bumping into each other. Go on, go on. Before the driver could... his eyes he saw he had stopped just in front of the buffers there watching him was the fat controller what are you doing here Thomas he asked I brought Edwards trucks Thomas answered why did you come so fast I didn't mean to I was pushed said Thomas you've got a lot to learn about trucks then little Thomas after pushing them about here for a few weeks, you'll know almost as much about them as Edward. Then you'll be a really useful engine. <laughs>